All right, TGI Friday. First of all, happy Labor Day weekend, everybody. Um, we celebrate labor. That's what we do. We try and represent this membership as fiercely as possible, as fairly as possible. We will continue to do that as we uh, come to a conclusion of these contract negotiations and arbitration. Hopefully, we have some great news for you next week. Stay tuned on that front. But again, enjoy the rest of your weekend. Um, I'd like to thank Interim Superintendent Waller and Chief McDermott for realizing that past deployments were not necessarily the right way to go and kind of scaling back cancellations just for the sake of cancellations and let our members have some decompression time and enjoy a holiday as many as possible with their family and friends this weekend. Onward we go. September 1st is the beginning of Suicide Awareness and Prevention Month. Teal and purple. We talked about it early in the year, probably even into the end of last year realistically, about putting together a memorial dedication in our courtyard next to the fallen officers, specific to the officers lost to suicide, knowing that we've had a very large number, specifically to Chicago current and retired officers who tragically took their own life. So the dedication today went off without a hitch. I'd like to thank the staff here at Lodge 7 for the extremely hard work and getting everything squared away this week, specifically making the courtyard look beautiful. And on that note, I'd like to thank Home Depot. Joe, your donations were appreciated and Home Depot was a great partner in this process, supplying a lot of the materials to get the courtyard looking beautiful. Um, the monument is up there. We'll post some pictures about the ceremony today on the Facebook page and uh, other places as soon as I can get it all arranged. But I just want to give some thank yous. It might come to a surprise as a lot of people that Mayor Brandon Johnson came to the dedication. I'd like to thank him personally. He didn't have to come. Um, all the craziness that goes on with politics in this city and uh, even some of the perception within the membership uh, I extended the invite because it was the right thing to do. Mayor Johnson's been pretty clear about his concerns about officer wellness, working hours and conditions and all of that stuff and the trauma that we absorb day to day going call to call. So it was nice to show that we can find common ground on some topics, row the boat in the same direction and address a problem on behalf of the membership from all different angles. So again, a personal thank you to the mayor for coming out and speaking uh, a little bit to the membership. Also, Attorney General Kwame Rowe was here. He spoke uh, also today. I'd like to thank him for attending. Um, he's been pretty good, reliable partner working with the Chicago Police Department specifically uh, and standing up for law enforcement. Uh, hopefully we can do some great things and kind of get some other stuff addressed in Springfield going forward. Uh, I'd like to thank the Attorney General for showing up. There was a lot of other people to thank. I'm sure I'm going to miss some, but let me start with the families of the fallen officers who we have lost. And specifically, let me start with Rabbi Moshe Wolf. It was the first time I had heard this phrase or you know, Moshe talk about this, a suicide reference being a cancer of the heart and how it just eats away at you until tragically the cancer takes you um, in that moment of suicide. It is about as poignant of a description I think that anybody in attendance could wrap their head around. It is a great way to analogize that it is literally a disease. And um, so, Rabbi, thank you for everything you do. You are a phenomenal human being and you really kind of frame today's efforts pretty well with that. And I think that phrase, cancer of the heart, is something everybody's going to take away from today's ceremony and remember for the rest of their life and spread that message so the stigmatism can be at least lifted a little bit more, if not altogether, slowly but surely. Onwards to the other thank yous. Um, I'd like to thank the National FOP, First Vice President Joe Gamaldi, Treasurer James Smallwood, and Sergeant at Arms Steve James for attending. Uh, again, we've asked the National to be more involved in Lodge 7, and they stepped up and came out today and supported the men and women of this department, so thank you to them. Also, State President Chris Southwood came up from Springfield to attend uh, Rocky Nawasik. We had John Deneen, uh, the press president, National and Lodge 7 here in attendance. It was uh, pretty humbling, and also, 
I'd like to thank the future superintendent, Larry Snelling, chief, who was holding a meeting about counterterrorism specific to the National Convention. And uh, he was pretty clear he was going to cut short that meeting so as many exempt rank members could come over from the academy and attend. And that was pretty refreshing to see that many exempt rank members in the FOP hall supporting this endeavor. And it, it was kind of what I was talking about earlier about us all rowing the boat for a cause we can all wrap our head around. We've all been affected on some level, someone we know or someone uh, we loved who either thought about it or actually ended up tragically taking their life. So that was nice. We had recruits from the academy. Uh, I'd like to thank Deputy Chief Papanawanu for bringing those uh, recruits over. So we had literally day one people all the way to people getting ready to walk out the door, all ranks. Um, it was a united message and I hope the family members, uh, I know they did, I shouldn't say I hope they did. They, they absolutely were blown away by the memorial, the dedication, and having somewhere now to come and even just sit in peace and meditate and contemplate and remember their loved ones, their lost ones. Uh, I'll post a bunch of pictures from today's dedication. All I can tell you is look out for each other and the immortal words of Hill Street Blues, right? Um, take care of each other. That's all we have at the end of the day. Um, I'll talk to you as soon as I have some information about arbitration and mediation next week. Uh, again, have a good Labor Day. Ciao.